Welcome back. So I've been thinking about doing this for a while, and that is having a headlight intake carbon, of course. So I took out the headlight already, and I'm trying to figure out a way that I can take this shape and replicate it out of carbon. Because then I got to try and design uh, like the actual intake part so it goes back to feed the air. Um, the other side of that is I, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with this and how I'm going to do it. Because obviously... The engineers at Toyota didn't say, you know what, we're just going to throw a random thing in there and then they can figure it out. Everything is designed specifically to have like a very precise amount of air going through the sensor so that the car adjusts itself. So it's going to be a interesting build, but I want to build it nonetheless. So let's get into building it. All right. So how I'm going to start this off. What I did was just put a incredible amount of tape and we are going to lay down some coats of fiberglass resin and then I'm going to take some pieces of my carbon and just put thin lines and chop it through and just go and do the whole outside so the way I want it to come out is there's going to be just this outer lip out of carbon and then I'm going to make it go let me give you a, let me give you a better view so out of this outer lip it's just going to be the rough shape just to fit into the actual headlight housing or the, the headlight area on the car. And then it's going to dive in and curve all the way in. And I plan on it looking so good. I I don't think I've ever seen a Supra that has it. Actually, I could be wrong there. I There might be a design. Either way, either way, it is going to be a 100% original because I'm doing it all by hand and by eye. So we're going to make a lot of different adjustments as we go. But for now, we are going to mix up some fiberglass resin. And yes, I know, I'm using fiberglass resin on carbon. Me personally, I don't know how it's going to react. But I'm going to just take a wing and shot it. I'm just going to wing it and take a shot at it. What is up with my talking lately? All right, let's go mix up some fiberglass resin. You want me on the floor for you. All right, so what I'm doing now is but I fell for you The second that you left for me I'm taking back my life All you did was use it You break it, you lose it Tell me your time is up Now I'm coming back to life I'm taking back my life Obviously, I want to be able to have enough there to sand so that I can start doing another re reapplication layer of the forged carbon because this, this is going to be forged carbon. Everything so on the floor for me. me. I'm not the you know same. I'm, We're doing I'm standing on my own two feet. So what's that going to be? I'm going to be cutting everything aside. I'm taking back my life. Yeah. All you did was use it. You break it, you lose it.
very, very custom, as really custom as you can get. So I'm still trying to plan out how I want to do it, if I want it to just be a straight dive in or if I want to have a little gap. Uh, I'm going to decide that once I kind of get this thing into a, a more final shape for the headlight. So let's start trimming. I'm walking around in the circle of life, doing the things I know. Walking the same ways a hundred of times with the same soul. The day you ever try, path on the right side, put it up in your mind. The day you ever try, path on the left side, put it up in your mind. All right, so we got the shape out now. We have everything cut down. What I have to do is just take a file and just file over all of this uh, to get a more perfect shape. Like if you look down here, there's like a little lump right down here that has to get filed. All this has to become perfect, absolutely perfect uh, inside and out. And then we have to start building out our tabs on this side and right back here where it's just gonna bolt right in. Uh, and then we could start working in and actually making the whole intake itself, which I'm excited for. I've been trying to plan out how I want to make the inlet and it's, it's a little bit tricky because I need to figure out how I can mold an actual inlet from in, inside this inner line where it's not going to really distort anything. If you know what I mean? I know it's a little confusing. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is I don't want it to ruin the shape of getting it in because it has to be able to fit under the radiator support right here. So this has to go on like so and it's going to sit roughly, roughly like that. But it needs to be able to go right under here and then I have to make the tabs to bolt right onto this. So it's all going to be a lot of... Um, finesse and creation here and there's some bolt holes right down un underneath there right over there yep you can barely see it but yes that that is going to be my next uh tackling project that i have to try and get right because if i don't get it right this will not bolt in nor sit correctly so that is going to be the next tackle all right so for me to do this this is now going to be the tricky part so what i did off camera was just make a little tab just to kind of fill in into all the spots that it's gonna go so now everything pretty much it, it's a bolt up basically so now everything fits right in place but now I have to make the actual inlet on what it's gonna look like completed pleated look of it so I'm just gonna try and perfect this right now and just get everything all inside here and directed right at my intake so that I could use it number one for this car if I so so please but also for when I get the new motor and actually am gonna need a different intake I'm able to use this as well so now let's start making the shape all right so I need to make the shape now to the outside of the perimeter that I had created right so what my idea is I went to Michaels and I bought just a little foam block around the size of what I want this intake to be right here so it's roughly the same size i can always shorten it a little bit with doing a little bit more carbon or just some adapters like the rubber uh adapters that you could just buy at all these these auto parts stores so what i want to do is i'm going to take my foam block and adjust it in sort of the position that it's going to end up sitting in so i'm going to have it just sit back a little bit like this so that it's a guide to right over there i don't want it to be in the way of anything important so it's gonna sit yeah you know how you know how good that just felt so that's gonna sit right about there now what I need to do is I need a longer barbecue stick for this but just so you guys can understand my general shape I'm just gonna take my barbecue skewers here I'm gonna get a couple of these in So I'm just going to start working my way around like so, just so I can get the shape and then I can sort of build 
around the rest of this and that's what's going to be my sort of template for where I want it to be because again I don't have a 3D printer I'm not using AutoCAD I'm not using any of these programs that I could quite literally just design a shape and just take some measurements and then just 3D print it out or print it and then put it on a template I'm doing this as freehand as possible this is probably the way that I would think most of you guys would be doing this so I'm trying to make this as simple as I also possibly can so that it's you know you can replicate this all right so we have the main structure now completed get that chair out of the way so here you could see the framework. Now all these have been hot glued into place. And now this whole piece just rocks out like so. So now this is the only important part, this backside. So what I want to be able to do is just take some carb. I, I think I might end up actually putting a, uh, a tape in here and just tape up this entire thing and then do it right over that because obviously I don't want the rest in a seep in through the sticks and start taking the shape of that so i'm probably just going to give this a little once over but you can see just how good that looks now and that is what the shape of it is going to be except out of carbon so let's start taping this thing Talking about the same old stories they've heard About the people they think they know so it actually worked now the mold release that I put on here obviously it got chewed through by the uh, the resin so it's just a little bit of peeling it's gonna be actually a little bit more than a little bit of peeling but everything took the shape the way I wanted it and now once all this gets removed I'm just gonna probably scrub brush this stuff out with some uh, some either goo gone or dawn dish soap or something like that uh, that I actually had to do before on another project I was working on but then this, the cover piece, all of this just kind of peels right off all these little hot glue sh beads right here. But once this thing gets cleaned off the part, this just sits right over it like so. And it's going to sit just like that. And let's do a little mock-up and just sit right in here.
just like so. And that is going to be the intake. Obviously, it doesn't look that good right now while all that tape is on. But you can see it leads right into the intake box, right into the little air box. Now, all that is going to have to be sanded down and filed down a little bit and perfectioned. But we're looking good so far. Let's get this stuff cleaned. All right, so everything sanded out very nice, as you can see. Now, all I have to do is take my resin and do my little gloss coating while also attaching this and resining this thing down. Let's do it. Without further ado, and another coat of gloss and some sanding, we are finished and completed. I know this has been a long video. There was a lot of hiccups that came up about with this, but. I hope you guys enjoyed the next one. I don't actually know what the next project is going to be. If you have any ideas, let me know. Sorry, I just kicked the tripod. Hope you guys are used to that by now because I, I do that quite often. But if you guys have any ideas, definitely let me know down in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one.